Hi there, good morning. Well, thank you once again <laughs> for coming and sharing these next five or so minutes with me. It's lovely to have you here. I feel absolutely blessed to know that you're listening in and I pray today that God's word will just encourage you today. Well, if I was looking at a picture or a photo of this massive, massive big anchor. So I decided to look up the meaning of an anchor. And this is what it says. An anchor is a device normally made of metal used to connect a vessel to the bed of a body of water to prevent the craft from drifting due to wind or current. Okay, anchors can either be temporary or permanent. Then I decided, let me see what God's word says about an anchor. So in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18 and 19, this is what it says in the message. These two things cannot change. God cannot lie when he says something and he cannot lie when he makes an oath. So these two things are a great help to us who have come to God for safety. They encourage us to hold on to the hope that is ours. And this hope is like an anchor for us. It is strong and sure and keeps us safe. It goes beyond the curtain. Wow, this hope is like an anchor for us. What struck out to me is that, this, that the anchor that we, just, we spoke about earlier on in the definition is there to prevent uh, drifting due to currents, um, due to wind, sorry, or current. Hebrews chapter 6 speaks about people going back to where they started. People who have left the ways of God, people who are like a land that grows only weeds and thorns. These are people that have drifted away from God. Sometimes we as a people, we drift away, maybe because the promises that we've been waiting for God to fulfill in our lives, we haven't yet seen them fulfilled, and we tend to lose heart, and we tend to maybe drift in that area. Well, I love Abraham. God told Abraham that he would bless him, and he would give him many descendants. Abraham waited patiently, not drifting. And he received what God had promised him. He hung on. He didn't give up. He did not give up. He hung on to God's promises that God had given him. Sometimes people drift away because of the wind or the current that comes up in life. Well, we can know today that God is a God that does not lie. Our God does not lie. His promises over your life today and the promises that he's given you over your family, those promises will be fulfilled. The storms of life, we know they will come up. Unfortunately, they will come up and cause a current and a wind to try and get us from drift, to try and get us to drift away from all that God has promised. Okay. But we know in Isaiah chapter 4 verse 6, I love the scripture. It says there, and there shall be a pavilion for shade in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and a shelter from storm and from the rain. Wow, how amazing is that? Today, you and I can take heart today and know that we will find shelter in God's presence. We'll find the shelter in God's presence. Hold on to all God has promised you today. Hold on. Do not give up. Do not give up those promises that you know that you know that you've heard from God. This is hope. That is your hope today. This hope, we know, the scripture said, is likened to an anchor, okay? This anchor you and I, and I have is strong, it's sure, and it will keep us safe. How amazing is that? The anchor is the hope that we have that God is in our life. As, as we hold on to those promises that he's given us and we believe his word, we believe we will not drift away. Well, choose today to make your anchor permanent in God today. Be blessed today, be encouraged today and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.